Good morning, hello again. So we're back at Hall Cost Fisheries today at Retford, Nottinghamshire. One of the best fisheries in the UK, one of the biggest as well. Um, so we are on Moat Island with the Jane Mac squad this week. Uh, weather forecast is nice, it's fair. Sunshine, bit of cloud, southwesterly. It's 12 degrees on the car this morning, so bits of mooching around. There's a few near the top. Uh, it's looking nice, it's looking nice for days fishing. Um, there's an open match opposite. Uh, but I've drew peg 14 on the Moat Island, or Moat Inner, and it's got an aerator. Uh, it's looking, it's got looking a nice peg. We've never fished here before, and on this, certainly, certainly not on this peg. Um, one of the locals says it's not a great area, but we'll see. And somebody else has said try and catch skimmers. So I think I'm going to go a bomb in a feeder line near the aerator, straight in front, which is always a good target area. I've got shallow lines set up you know, with pellet. I've got a top clip plus top three line, and I've got paste and pellet set up on that line. Um, I'm going to ground beat that with maggots and particle baits. I'm trying to get some skimmers off it. I've tried it before a couple of times, I've had a few off it. And then I've got a margin to my right, so I'll just pan around to the margin. To my right here, peg 13. I've got some reeds in the water, a big overhanging tree, so that looks promising for later on, uh, in the last couple of hours maybe, but I'll, fe I'll be feeding that. Uh, throughout the match. So th three lines basically, aerator for bomb and feeder, top kit plus top, um, top three, and uh, a margin line. So there's my three areas to start with. There's 20 of us here today. Should be a good match. I can't see anybody. I think I've got Alan Slack three pegs to my left. I think I've got a Jeff two or three pegs to my right. So I've got plenty of space. We're all spread out around the, around the island. I'll keep a close eye on what the open anglers are doing opposite as well. I haven't got anybody opposite me, which is great. So I've got the aerator to myself. Um, so I fancy that aerator for a few fish, we, we shall see. Uh, there's only a few minutes for the all in. I've mixed some ground bait up, so um, and we've got pellets, paste, corn, maggots, got some dead reds, worm, a bit of everything today. I'm going to experiment on those three lines and see what we can pick up. I would like to pick some of those big skimmers up, two, three pounders. If you can get them in your swim and get some of them going there, 20, 30 pound of silvers to go with a few carp, it's only a good time for a section or maybe even a top three. But we'll see. I'll speak in a bit. Right, so we're one hour in, no bites, no fish, and I've not seen any fish caught at all. Can't, as you can see, three, six, seven open anglers on the far bank. They've not had enough, I think they stopped about quarter past ten. They've not had any fish. Um, Jeff to my right, I, can't, I don't think he's caught anything. You want to see fish mooching around, just a few liners, just little clips on the feeder and bomb lines. I've had 40 minutes on the method feeder, no, no bites, and then 20 minutes on the bomb, and no bites. I've been feeding my skimmer line, we'll call it. I've put a few balls of ground bait in on that line, I'm going to try that now. See if we can get any of those skimmers going. Yeah. To say it's been slow would be an understatement. <laughs> Look at Tommy Ruff, first fish. Very angry Tommy Ruff. Roach. So I just put a big pot of ground bait in and gone straight in after it. Cool roach. Oh, 
Right, quarter to twelve. One roach, one Tommy Ruff. Jeff's had a little skimmer. I've seen one carp caught on the opposite bank. I think it might have been foul up. It took him ages to get in. What a beautiful day, though. I think it's forecast 20, 22 degrees today, but it feels warmer than that already. What a skimmer. Air flying now. Scheme up. So it's 20 past 12 now. Just put my first pot on this margin. Just a few particles on my ball of ground bait. See if we can pick anything up. I'm going to go over it with a worm in a minute. Hoping there might be some bleem down there. Two, two and a half foot deep in the margin, so you never know. Found something a little bit bigger. Don't think it's a carp. Not one of the better skimmers. Unless it's a carp swimming towards me. Lovely. That's better. That's a proper skimmer. They're the ones we want. Half past 12, so after that nice little skimmer, about two pound, I'm just having a first look down the margin over that one pot of bait I've put in. Running with a full worm, just over it and to see if there's anything mooching around. Any big perch or skimmer. It's got a good depth next to those leaves. Two and a half feet. It's just a cheeky look, really. I've had some big fish out these margins over the years, but it's generally the last hour. We get one or two. moment I've got five silvers. I think Jeff's had a, about the same. Opposite they've read about the same really it's not I think they've only seen one carp caught so far. Uh, Slacky says he's had one about ten pound on pace. The first put in three pegs to my left. Up and down the margin. We'll try on the bomb. Quick time check. 
One o'clock. Three hours in. Not for three pound. We have five silvers, including one really nice bring. You have five silvers for three pound at one o'clock. But same for everybody as well. We're all struggling. But it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day for sunbathing. Forest Sheffield United this afternoon. Perhaps you should have stayed at home and watched that. So I've just seen three fish come into the swim near the top and cruising a bit slower than the others. Six mil pallet on. Let me just see if I can uh, entice one. Of course, typical, as soon as you get the rig out, you don't fish you. Worth doing for a few minutes, if you, especially if you get one, just because the fish is so big. I just got one and I lost it. I got a feeling it was just foul up there. Even though I'm only fishing a, fish a foot deep. Pace line just gives it a go. Sometimes the big skimmers will take a piece of pace as well. Ooh. Twitchy bite. Right, it's three o'clock, five hours in, no cop. I've still only got five silvers. So since one o'clock, I've had nothing at all. Until three. Hardly anybody is catching anything. It's one or two carp that have been caught, that's all. Some of the open anglers have already packed up and they've, they've had enough. Jeff Timurai, he's not done any carp either. He did a few silvers, he's got a few more silvers than me. Um, I'm not sure what slack he's got next door, I can't, just can't see him. I know he's had one carp earlier on. The guy right at the far end of the lake, first peg on the open side, he's been catching a cross on feeder. The wind's been blown down there. So he's been catching a cross there. So he'll have a good weight, but everybody else, wow. From what I can see, it's been a real struggle. I've tried all sorts. 
tried paste, pellet, deep, shallow, method feeder, bomb, margins on worm, corn. So at the moment, at the moment the last hour is the best chance of actually them coming on feed out filler. So I've put in four pots of ground bait, um, corn, maggot, and to my margins to my right, and um, I'll have another go of it. But so far it's not produced anything. One perch dangling on a piece of worm that dropped off that's tiny. But if you're going to go to a place and not catch anything, it's beautiful. It's beautiful here, isn't it? It's lovely. I think it's one of the nicest places to go and not catch. <laughs> one hour to go. Going in. See if we can get a couple of honey monsters. Dropping it in from a bit higher as well. Another big pot. Going in with two worms. Come on, fish. Right down the margin, and a bow wave out of it. Oh, shocking! It's five to four, and that had a fish since one o'clock. <laughs> shocking! Last five minutes. Way in will be interested. Maybe everybody else has banked up. We'll have to see if I've come last. <laughs> This is a beautiful place to not catch out there. It's lovely here. A nice sunny day. I've got two worms on down this edge and I've put in corn and pellet and maggot. So it's enticed one fish to come in but I've missed the bite. These will all feed this evening when it's nice and uh, nice and cool on an early evening. Dave still told me it was a tough area this morning when I drew it. I was not wrong. What's really surprised me is not caught from the aerator. Come on, last couple of minutes. Don't like bitching bites down the edge. The last 15 minutes here, it's, there's some right monsters coming. I think uh, last year's match on here, we had uh, the 19 pounder came out. It's certainly going to be an interesting way in anyway. The 
whistle's about to go, so we're going to get packed away. We're going to see who has won. We'll see if I'll come last. <laughs> Got one on down the edge. If we can keep it on. <sighs> Shot off with my two worms. Hope it's one of them money monsters. It's literally about a minute to go. <laughs> I've got this fish on. Fish on! Fish. Let's try with the good fishing. Just plodding in front of you. Don't want to come in. Come on, that one. <laughs> Got one of my worms back. That for a fish. There, look. Matches over now, so we'll have a quick look. And we'll find out how much he weighs as well. Look at that for a fish. <laughs> Absolute beauty. Put him in the net. Right, so that's the end of the match. <laughs> I'm eating fish. Thanks, Bill. Oh, hell, there's 50 in there. Good angling, Dave. All on what, Dave? I've had them on maggot. Where? Um, cool. Where? Cool. What keeps changing? You've been there all the time. You've never moved. What are you saying? Oh, away from it. No, just on the top of there, mate. Yeah, yeah, two two bags of micro, two bites of maggot, two bags. That won't even come out, it's that big. What's the size of that oh, one? No. If he's stuck to that sedge then, what will decide it? Well, besides that block. That's unreal. That Five foot deep, mate. You've got one in there about 18 pound, then. You think they weigh 18 pound? Oh, something like that. Oh, just thought so, is it? Yeah. 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 How far far? About like that. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Don't yeah. get your belly on, lift it up so it can lose your belly. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Well done. Is that nice up there? Well done, Dave. 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 Well <laughs> but now we've got another one in. Yeah. Yeah. What do you get then, mate? They're beauties. Yeah, go on then. He's got cost on me, no? Yeah, he's got more than me. Yeah, 120 off, mate. Yeah, that's most of the time. Still the same thing. Where's we got you? 11. Still, well, I'm up to 17. They are also good things, yeah. Smile. Smile. What pace is that? 43.6, Kelly. Hold on, mate. That's third. Oh, that's good. Eh? My jewel's on our iron. 15.9. 31.13. Hold on, Peter. Hold on, Peter. Hold on, Peter. That's fourth, isn't it? David! Yeah. Well done, Smith. Well done, Smith. Hello again. So, on to the results then from yesterday at Allcroft. There's 20 of us fished. We had a total of £468 at a low average of £24. So, that motor in Ireland can be a bit tough. It was definitely tough yesterday for some of us. Um, seven anglers did not weigh in at all. So that's how hard it was yesterday. And section winning weights were right down as well. Um, but I think um, in that glorious sunshine, the fish were thinking about spawning maybe, and they were showed up in certain areas. Uh, it was the same for the open anglers on the far bank as well. Um, so it was very difficult. They weren't really interested in feeding, and some people caught late on. Uh, but if you was on a, a prominent peg, you definitely caught a few fish. Right, so on to the section winners then. Um, the first section winner, and due to perseverance, and if you've watched the footage, you'll see I've caught a carp at very, very, at very last knockings at five to four. Um, I had a section win from peg 14 with £10.13, which included most of that was just one carp in the last couple of minutes. Um, so that's a very low section winning weight at £10.13. Um, Alan Slack had the next section from peg 17 with £23.7. Uh, Phil Smedley uh, from peg 61 had £13.13 ounce and won a section. And then Pete Lambert from peg 52, he had £31.13. He came fourth overall and also won his section. So uh, well fished to the, to the section winners. Uh, on to the top three then, Paul Skeldon was third um, from peg 43 with 43 pounds six down. He had a mixture of silvers and uh, a few carp. Um, and then we're on to the two guys that were uh, really managed to get game yesterday. So Tony Smith who fished corn down his edge and he had his first carp about half past 12 um, from peg 29. He had 94 pounds five ounces. He probably had about 15, um, 15 or 16 carp. Um, got some decent footage of that and he had a couple of good ones as well. Uh, so well fished toner, um, so mostly on corn. But to the clear leader from peg two, which is a hot favourite peg if you uh, if you draw on that uh, in Ireland, he um, had 156 pound nine ounce um, and just a 20 odd carp, but he must have had five or six doubles, decent sized doubles as well. Absolute cracking net of fish he'd got. I'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll, we'll show some of that on the footage and we'll try and show us a bit more in the highlights if we can. He had a couple of 16, 17, maybe even 18 pounders as well. So he had some proper lumps around there. And he fed um, three pints of maggots, two pints of uh, pellets, and two tins of corn. He was catching mainly on corn, the same as Tony did, who um, uh, was second. So he fished to the, just the other side of the block, which was visible yesterday, the water level was down. And the open angler on the same end of the lake, who was fishing almost opposite, I think he had about 200 pounds, um, fishing to his left on feeder. So they were congregated in that area where all the reeds were, so I think that's where there was, you know, they were probably thinking about spawning where it would be so nice yesterday. But certainly around the rest of the lake it was very difficult to actually get any run of fish going at all. I mean I set a line up um, to fish to try and catch some silvers, but I really struggled for bites of it. And it just was double maggot, single maggot, uh, like rough and roach and one or two little bits, but couldn't get any bream come on it at all. Um, had a few skimmers on the feeder line, but nothing. Uh, no chance of any real big fish. Um, at all really, until the last few minutes when I missed a bite and then I managed to get one um, right at the very end which fortunately gave me a section win as well. <laughs> I was quite fortunate about that but it just shows you perseverance in these matches. Sometimes you know if you're struggling to fish for the top three, um, fishing for a section 
and you just never know what's going to happen. So fish right to the last whistle, and uh, I managed to produce that uh, decent fish. And it was a lovely fish as well. I didn't like it. Ever been caught? It was that, uh, it was that nice a fish. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've not seen masses of fish caught this week, but um, it just shows you how good that place is. It's a bit of boom or bust. You get on those pegs, you can absolutely empty it. And Dave Lilliman certainly did, so he thoroughly deserves his victory yesterday. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, please keep the like and subscribe. Bye for now. Over there, he's been catching all day, hasn't he? Yeah. Who's that? Where you looking, Kev? Right over there. Other side that block, then, Dave. Yeah. Well done, mate. Ginormous. Is the radio look? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got them now. Imagine. Fifty pound fifteen. Oh, oh, that one, Dave. Look at that thing. It's like a lot of monster. Look at that. He's twenty. He's twenty. 